This may become another go-to walking sneakers for me. So let's find out why. Hi everyone, Marches here and welcome to the channel and for today's video, I would give you my review on a lifestyle sneaker that I have been wanting to try. This is the A6 Kayano Legacy. Actually, this is my first lifestyle sneakers from A6. I actually tried their basketball sneakers first and I had a good review out of that sneaker. I forgot the name of the A6 basketball sneaker but it also has the gel that A6 has been famous with. It's this gel and it performed really well. The traction was on point. And now I have become really interested with their lifestyle sneakers since of course the rise of the new balances, all the those dad shoes. And I'm always into the lookout for the very comfortable walking sneaker, not just for fashion, but really for traveling, for everyday walk. And soon I will be giving my comparison video between all of the walking sneakers that I feel like the most comfortable for me and I'll compare them side by side and I will let you know why. But for this video, let's talk about the Kayano Legacy. It's called the Legacy because it is actually a combination of all the Kayanos for the past 30 years. So it's actually the 30th anniversary of the Kayanos. And what they did with this one was really nice. They combined different Kayanos with this and usually combining different sneakers usually is a low chance of getting a good looking sneaker but with this one it's ultra clean i really wasn't looking for or buying a a6 lifestyle i just walk inside their store and i saw this and i think it's time to pull the plug because i really like how it looks especially the color it's bright silver and gray and let's remove the insole. The insole has a very nice cushion pad. It's Artolite and it also has the 38 there. So 38 Gel Kayano Legacy. So very nice. It comes in two colorways, but I chose this because it has a more minimal vibe to it. The other one has a white base with blue and red logo of ASICS combination there. And I chose this because it looks very stealthy, very clean, and you can see the gel where ASICS is famous for, for the cushioning. And I was actually wearing them right now. I just removed them from my feet and they're ultra comfortable. Not the squishiest if you're maybe thinking about the, the comfort will be so cushy like a boost set up like the NMD R1. The NMDR1 is very comfortable, but for long hours, I don't think it will be that comfortable anymore because when your feet is in the sneaker for longer hours, it should have the right amount of plush. At the same time, it won't sag your heel, have some strain at the back of your heel or Achilles. So that's one thing to consider. And this one feels like it has a very nice combination. It's not the squishiest, but uh, it has a very nice ride to it, very comfortable ride. I would compare it with my favorites right now, which is the Vomero 5s. The Vomero 5s is really one of the top lifestyle sneakers that I'm currently wearing, aside from the hype of the sneaker, but it's ultra comfortable. Before it became famous, uh, I was actually wearing the Vomeros already. So side by side, this one, the Vomeros and the New Balances are kind of on top right now in terms of comfort for everyday walk and long hours of walk. So this one, I mean, with the hype of the Kayanos, I think it lives the hype out of the dad shoe hype right now and has a stability plate in the middle. The traction is very grippy. It has a very nice slope to the sneaker that it's not too slope but it's just the right amount so that when you're walking you will feel your stride a little bit more organic and the width of the upper is actually 
very wide, so I went half a size down. This is a 10 and a half for me. And there's enough room for your feet, especially for wide footers on the toe area. And it has some support around the midfoot. As you can see here, it overlaps and the very nice laces. And, and it comes with the very nice laces that is kind of 3M reflective too. Different materials for the upper, honeycomb mesh, some leathers, real leathers here, and some other mesh here. And this one really looks cool too. And I'm really digging the overall silhouette of this Legacy Gel Cayano. So this is quite expensive. This is $200. So quite expensive, but, but if you're looking for an everyday beater that is ultra comfortable and it looks good too, the A6 Gel Cayano Legacy or the other Cayanos, check out A6 stores. Here in Manila, it has one in Glorieta and one in BGC. So check them out, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Gel Cayano Legacy. Hit me a comment down below. This is in March just once again. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.